Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here with the contest alert. Yes, it is contest, baby. Okay, so be the hundred person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. It's just this simple. One, follow our podcast on Spotify. Two, stay tuned for engaging content and inspiring episodes. Three, be the luckiest hundred follower. Two, enjoy joy shopping on Amazon with your gift card. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. So, want to put some rules out. This has nothing to do with Spotify. It's not affiliated with Spotify. Uh, Spotify has uh, no shape or form involved in this contest. Okay? And you must send me an email to snjm at sharicenjohnsonmore.com and in your subject line you must say I subscribe in your subject line so that's all you have to do come on and be the 100th person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify only and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Oh, you also get to appear on the show. You also get to appear on the show, whoever the 100th person to sign up for the Spotify, uh, sign up on Spotify, and uh, you will be able to be a participant on the show. That's an additional prize. So don't miss out on this excited opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. All right now, let's get busy. Second Chronicles chapter 14, 1 through 15, and it reads, So Abinadjah slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David, and Asa his son reigned in his stead. In his days the land was quiet ten years, and Asa did that which was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. For he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places and break down the images and cut down the groves and commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to do the law and the commandment. Also, he took away away out of all the cities of Judah the high places and the images and the kingdom was quiet before him. And he built fenced fence cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those days, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said unto Judah, Let us build these cities, and make them make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet is yet before us. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of men that bare targets and spears. Out of Judah, 300,000, and out of Benjamin, that bare shields and drew bows. Two hundred and four score thousand, all these were mighty men of valor. And there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian, with an host of a thousand thousand and three hundred chariots, and came unto Marasha, Marisha. Then Asa went out against him. And they set the battle in array in the valley of Zephathia. 
at Marisha. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy, thy name we go, ag- go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God. Let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them unto Jira. And the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord. And before his host, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gera, for the fear of the Lord came upon them. And they spoil all the cities, for there was exceeding much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle and carried away sheep and camels in abundance and returned to Jerusalem. I have just read Second Chronicles chapter 14, 1 through 15. Oh dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the day, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to have the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs, and we are in our right minds just for the day, Lord. We thank you for opening our eyes to see that there is none like you, none like you, none like you. Lord, we we give you honor and we give you glory and we give you praise, Lord, that um, that you know you stand stand with us, you stand for us, and you will do anything to protect your children. So, Lord, we pray these things in your name. May you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Second Chronicles chapter 14, 1 through 15, and it reads, So Abinadjah slept with his fathers, and they buried him in the city of David, and Asa his son reigned in his stead. In his days the land was quiet ten years, and Asa did that which was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. For he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places and break down the images and cut down the groves and commanded Judah to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to do the law and the commandment. Also, he took away away out of all the cities of Judah, the high places and the images and the kingdom was quiet before him. And he built fenced cities in Judah, for the land had rest, and he had no war in those days, because the Lord had given him rest. Therefore he said unto Judah, Let us build these cities, and make them make about them walls and towers, gates and bars, while the land is yet is yet before us. Because we have sought the Lord our God, we have sought him, and he hath given us rest on every side. So they built and prospered. And Asa had an army of men that bare targets and spears. Out of Judah, 300,000, and out of Benjamin, that bare shields and drew bows. Two hundred and four score thousand, all these were mighty men of valor. 
and there came out against them Zerah the Ethiopian with an host of a thousand thousand and three hundred chariots and came unto Marisha Marisha then Asa went out against him and they set the battle in array in the valley of Zephathia at Marisha. And Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing with thee to help, whether with many or with them that have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on thee, and in thy, thy name we go, ag- go against this multitude. O Lord, thou art our God, let not man prevail against thee. So the Lord smote the Ethiopians before Asa and before Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. And Asa and the people that were with him pursued them unto Jira, and the Ethiopians were overthrown, that they could not recover themselves, for they were destroyed before the Lord and before his hosts, and they carried away very much spoil. And they smote all the cities round about Gera, for the fear of the Lord came upon them, and they spoiled all the cities, for there was exceeding much spoil in them. They smote also the tents of cattle, and carried away sheep and camels in abundance, and returned to Jerusalem. I have just read Second Chronicles chapter 14, 1-15. Oh dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the day, Lord. We thank you for allowing us to have the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs. And we are in our right minds just for the day, Lord. We thank you for opening our eyes to see that there is none like you. None like you. None like you. Lord, we, we give you honor and we give you glory and we give you praise, Lord, that um, that you know you stand stand with us, you stand for us, and you will do anything to protect your children. So, Lord, we pray these things in your name. May you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Chronicles chapter 14 and it speaks about Asa's reign in Judah. Now after the passing of Abinadab um, his son Asa takes over and we see this we see this in this chapter that if you are faithful no matter what, you you are faithful and you're following in the steps of the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Give you the, 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 the desires of your heart. And Asa has taken, he is he's walking in the steps of his father. And Abinadab. And this is like... When you are led in your life by someone that is standing before God and loves the Lord and does everything God uh, God asks of them, and you and, and you see this example in your life, it's very important. 
You know, like they say, children, you know, our children pay attention to what we do and say. They pay attention to what we do and say. They do. They, you might not think they're paying attention, but they are. And we see this prime example with Abinajah and his son Asa. After his father passed, after Abinajah passes, it is prime example of Asa has taken up the mantle, as they call it. And, you know, um, he decides to do all the things like he removes the foreign altars and high places and, and destroys the sacred stones and cuts down the Ashara tr- poles. You know, he goes in and, and does a whole, whole destroying of all these false god idols and things like that. He comes in and does the righteous thing as a righteous leader. And and he doesn't stray from God. He doesn't stray from God. You know, <clears throat> he doesn't stray. Um, and during his time, Asa's time in Judah, they experience a period of peace and prosperity. You know, and then he goes into fortifying the cities and strengthening the army. And then you have, here you go, somebody from outside again tries to come in and take over the land. Zerah is an Ethiopian. And he comes and tries to take over Asus, over Judah and Jerusalem. And, and it's... And it's it's always a God will always send you a test, even in you, even in your time of prosperity and happiness. He will send you a a a, a test. God God always sends a test, test to test your faith, to test your endurance, to test your solitude, to test your. Uh, uh, bravery to test your knowledge to test to test all these things that he knows that you are capable of passing the test you know that's just that's that's just like Abinajah Abinajah had to do the same thing with 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 the you know in the last chapter where he had to turn around and go and and uh do the battle with Jerobium and it doesn't matter what your test look like. It's how how you gonna stand during your test. How you gonna stand? Are you gonna crumble, or are you gonna walk with your head up high and say, "A Satan get thee behind me," you know? Um, because we got a choice of whether we want to stumble or we want to stand tall in our battles, no matter what that battle is in our lives, and. When we choose God to fight our battles, we even win better. We went, child, we went way better than what we were. You know, we didn't choose God. You know, some things we, some, when we have battles in our life, we have to learn how to let God fight them. He goes, he prays to God, he asks God for help. He said, look, I, I, look, I ain't much. I ain't much. I ain't but a humble servant. But, Lord, we need you. He asks God for help, and God delivers them, uh, delivers them in the battle. They defeat the Ethiopians. They defeat all the Ethiopians that thought they could come in and take over Jerusalem and all this other stuff, and they go in there and kill them. They destroy them too. You know, and it's and it's no matter what you're going through in life. You always can defeat it. You always can defeat the battle that you endure in your life. You can defeat it. If you just ask for help. He asked for help. He asked for deliverance. And God gave it to him. You know, like they say, the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. So... Sometimes do and then some we can't and, and and every time something comes up against us we can't always we God knows what we can handle and what we can't. God know already knows. He already knows what you can handle and what you can't. 
And sometimes we have to learn how to be quiet, pray unto the Lord, and let God handle it. Everything we can't could we every battle that comes up against us does not need to be fought by us. Every battle that comes up against us does not need to be fought by us. Sometimes we have to leave things in God's hands and leave them as they are and do them as they may. You know, sometimes we just have to do that. And that's how, you know, that's that's how we have to do it. We got to do it like that. You know, and we got we got to keep it keep it moving, keep it going, keep it, you know, doing what we do. All right? So, keep your hands up. Don't look back. Keep looking forward. And let God fight your battles for you. All right? I love you. Or you could, you could, I love you. And I know that you can, I know that sometimes we may be going through a lot of stuff at the moment. But we just have to sit back, sit back and just relax for a minute and let God do what he make it. Let God do what he do. God do what he do. God do what he do. Um, I love you all, and um, to let you know you are not alone, you know, God is always with you, never failing, okay? Keep your heads up, and I love you, and I pray that you have a blessed day. Bye, babies. Talk to you next time on Daily Devotional. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here with the contest alert. Yes, it is contest, baby. Okay, so be the hundred person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. It's just this simple. One, follow our podcast on Spotify. Two, stay tuned for engaging content and inspiring episodes. Three, be the luckiest hundred follower. Two, enjoy joy shopping on Amazon with your gift card. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. So, want to put some rules out. This has nothing to do with Spotify. It's not affiliated with Spotify. Uh, Spotify has uh, no shape or form involved in this contest. Okay? And you must... Send me an email to snjm at sharicenjohnsonmore.com. And in your subject line, you must say, I subscribe in your subject line. So that's all you have to do. Come on and be the 100th person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify only and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Oh, you also get to appear on the show. You also get to appear on the show, whoever the 100th person to sign up for the Spotify, uh, sign up on Spotify, and uh, you will be able to be a participant on the show. That's an additional prize. So don't miss out on this excited opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. All right now, let's get busy. Hello, incredible listeners. It's Sharice here, your host at Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. I'm thrilled to have you with us for another inspiring episode. Today, I have an exciting opportunity to share with businesses, brands, and fellow podcast enthusiasts out there. Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast has become a hub for positive conversation, personal growth, and inspiring stories. Our listeners are engaged, passionate, and eager to discover new products and services that align with 
their values. And now we're opening up the doors for advertising partnerships. If you have a product, service, or message that resonates with our audience, we love to feature it on our podcast. Why advertise with us? Well, you'll get exposure to a diverse and dedicated audience. Your brand showcased in a positive and uplifting environment and the chance to be part of a community that believes in making a difference. We offer various advertising packages to suit your needs, from sponsorship segments to product placements and everything in between. It's a fantastic way to connect with our our listeners and let them know about what you have to offer. If you're interested in advertising on Sharif Johnson Moore's podcast and being a part of a space that values authenticity and positivity, reach out to us at snjm at sharifnjohnsonmore.com and let's discuss how we can collaborate and create something amazing together. I'm genuinely excited about the possibilities of featuring your brand on our podcast. Together, let's inspire, uplift, and make every episode an incredible experience for our listeners. Thank you for considering Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast for your advertising needs. I can't wait to hear from you and share your story with our wonderful community. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 beautiful souls. It's Sharice Johnson Moore here, your host of Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, along with other uh, different shows that we have on this podcast, such as Daily Devotional, Morning Word and Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, Entrepreneurial Corners, and Authors Excerpt Sunday. Today, I'm reaching out to our incredible listeners for an opportunity that's close to my heart. Producing this podcast is a labor of love, and I'm truly grateful for the support you've shown so far. As we continue to grow and evolve, I'm excited to invite you to be an even more integral part of this journey. Your contributions can play a vital role in helping us maintain the quality of content you love. If you've ever thought about supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, now's the perfect time. We've made it simple. If you enjoy our podcast and would like to contribute, you can do so through our PayPal link in the description box. Your donation, no matter how small, goes directly towards the production and improvement of our episodes. You can go to PayPal dot me backslash s n j m o o r e paypal dot me backslash s n j m o o r e to make your donations simply just give and and you will be making a contribution that is it quick and easy every donation makes a significant difference I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you. Your support means more than words can convey. I'm honored to have you as part of our podcast family. If you're unable to contribute financially at this time, your support is still invaluable. You can help by sharing our podcast with your friends, family, and on social media. Every bit counts. Thank you for your considera- consideration of supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Your generosity allows us to continue creating content that uplifts and inspires. Here's to more episodes filled with positivity and growth. All right, everyone. Thank you so much, and everyone have a blessed day. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I want to say thank you for listening to the podcast for this morning of Daily Devotional. I pray that you have a very blessed day and 
Remember that God loves you, he cherishes you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? And I love you, and I will talk to you again tomorrow for our meetup for Daily Devotional. All right now, go out and conquer the day. With God on your side, all things are possible. Okay? All right. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies.